It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10-4, Cody. Advanced team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting. Uh oh, they have us 
at a disadvantage. If you want to live through this, we gotta take out the bastards with the rocket launcher up on the dam. We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? Good. And remember, Arizona's depending on us. There's no giving up here, there's no going back. All right, move out! No, maybe you blew her up already. Liar! Don't leave me, you bring it to Jared. Where is she? Fuck! Your friends are here. Okay, Hotlanders. Drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? Thanks. 
saved my life. You probably should have killed that gal, though. Gonna warn her friends. And I appreciate it. Just watch yourself. They're right outside. Gotta catch my wind first. Let me stay here and guard your rear while you take care of the ones around the corner. Be careful. Finish off the rest of them. Bust ah! up, cousins. Don't let them get the drop on us. Yahoo's on the top and take them unawares. Let me know when you're in position and we'll. <gasps> Shit! Incoming fire! Taking cover! Why didn't you get here sooner? Look what they did to Joey! He... He's dead! Damn right! Gotta get poor Joey back to AC. Finding a way back. I can't let Joey be buried here. The ground's too cold. Are you kidding yourselves? We are done. Just let me go. Good. We don't need you. Do we, Joey? Those guys.
jump me, but but those bastards are still up there on the dam. I found a spot to hunker down and give you some cover when you get there. But I'm afraid this this will be mostly on you. Good luck. Like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance, I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> My big brother, he'd have loved to take a piece out of you, but that's okay. I'll bring him one later. You don't know much, do you? The Dorseys are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save us. Don't kill Jared! Done. <sighs> Never shut up. Heads up, Rangers. More incoming. Uh oh. They have us at a disadvantage.
Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Bell's a good kid. Thank you. You did... well. Now... I'm bleeding all over the paperwork. We need to, to head for Colorado Springs. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an, sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela... Death. But they went dark. We have to find them. No. She found her way home, then found out all her squad mates had died fighting. Good oh, jeez. Probably why she volunteered for the advanced team mission. Got her away from her ghosts. Give me a second. Catch my breath, and we can go. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. 
And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. If you insist. <laughs> Thank you. It's been too long since I've dealt with my problems firsthand. I'd like to do the same to all the Dorseys. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. The deal's still in place. You help me, I help Arizona. And the flame of civilization spreads its warm glow a little further into the night. That's what we all want, right? Now, <sighs> introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now... Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? Ah, uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Later! Whose job was that? Pleased to meet you, Rangers. <laughs> Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. How you deal with them is your call. Your base, your rules. Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah, let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think. Alliance, alliance, alliance. 
All your aid will learn. A more big to you is a looper. This is a secure, bumper bed facility you to be first passing your kids. If all for a patient or you will be pressed up if it. Please hold at searching the door. Still at searching the bed on hold. All for a patient probably accepted. Serpiters will remain watchful of you. Well done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished them. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Ain't you smart. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Now, let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen, Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver, and Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Name them. Understandable. I'll have Joe send you a few things once we get back to Broadmoor Heights. What do you want to know? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else... Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. 
The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared, because he escaped a while ago, and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh... claims he's captured some rangers as well. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. <sighs> Soft, spoiled, fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, Hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. No, but the Gippers are tough and well-armed. And Denver's a death trap. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. You'd better. Anything else? Uh-huh. The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. Possibly. But I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Good. What else do you need? Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the Marshals in Colorado Springs. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do.
Cocky, huh? Well, cocky's good. As long as you can back it up. All right, let's move out. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. I want to discuss staffing and recruiting, that kind of thing. Good job, Rangers. Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Greatsky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits just like the Patriarch promised you. And I already got you one of the best. Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Of course, ask away. Yeah, I was getting a little itchy doing the same old, same old in the Marshalls. And retirement was driving me stir-crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel. I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. Uh, well... Haha, <laughs> well, Sergei won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest war hero. Fought by the Patriarch's side from the beginning and saved the old man's life about a hundred times, right, Sergei? Seventy-five. Tops. Now, let me tell you about Mr. Slick here. Nobody knows the streets and alleys of Colorado Springs or the people that live there better than dashing Darius Kwan. You're too kind, Sergei. It's no lie that I've been looking to leave the Marshals, but you're right. That's not the whole story. The Patriarch asked me to keep an eye on you, so... Here I am. And I am truly sick of retirement. But, yeah. I'm doing the Patriarch a favor, too. I'm not sure exactly. We came by a week and a half ago, and it was stone quiet. We were gonna get the place cleaned up before you got here. But then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the back burner. Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe 10 years back. Before that, all kinds of bandits, militias, and cults have lived here since the deluge. Recently, it's been mostly outlaws and refugees. 
We should check around to see if there are any current occupants. Could be what set off the alarms. Around these parts, we call the nuclear apocalypse the deluge of fire, because, well, that's what it was. Noah's flood was the deluge of water. The nukes were the deluge of fire. Let's say liaisons. The Patriarch wants you to succeed, and he knows it's not going to be easy. You're strangers in a strange land. You don't know the politics. You don't know the personalities. Who hates who? Where the bodies are buried. That's where we come in. We're here to make sure you don't make too many rookie mistakes, step on the wrong toes. And yeah, we're supposed to report back to the Patriarch about how you're doing. But you didn't really expect to be left completely to your own devices, did you? Okay, what's next? My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need, but if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do, but getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping, before I toss it all out. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Anyway, your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Uh, one sec. Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are gonna need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, 
What if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. Well, I know this city like the back of my hand. And this city knows me. My time in the marshals means I've got connections and trusted informants everywhere. Plus, I'm a sure shot and a decent scrapper. And, though it hurts my civic pride to say it, there are places around here where those things might come in handy. Great. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. this cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. 